Minus one. The war had been going on for generations. The sea and air were ruled by guided atomic missiles, radiation, and total destruction drove man underground. And there the war continued. The great beds of shale and limestone trembled as an underground cruiser chewed its way through the ageless rock. The ship was squat, ugly, the top of its cutting head 40 feet above the clattering caterpillar treads. It was windowless, and behind the grinding duraloy blades were ugly lumps that concealed the guns. On the bridge, Commander Sanderson fought the bucking vibration, one hand tight on a stanchion. Culver, I sir. What's wrong with the insulation? It's hotter than oven up here. Port refrigeration unit went out. Starboard can't carry the load. I've got damage control on it. Oh, go back. I sir. Give me a seismo reading. Severe shock, 30 seconds back. Change course to 175 degrees. And half speed, please, sir, till I can chart the straighter. Mr. Culver? Aye, sir. 175, half speed. Aye, sir. Navigation, Lieutenant Watson. Bridge here. Change course to 175, Watson. 175. Aye, sir. Clark? Yes, Mr. Watson. New course, 175. 175, aye. Half speed. Half speed, aye. What? We hit something. What is it, Mr. Watson? Uh, it's lava, probably. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. No, I, I guess not. Mr. Watson. Yes, Clark? Are we ever going to get out of here? You mean the lava? The whole business. We've been under rock for three months. You better keep quiet, Clark. The psycho officer has rubber heels. Oh, I don't care about Carpenter. He's been over me already with those stinking reaction tests. If he gives me one more ink plot to look at... your dial. One degree correction. Right. Mr. Watson, what was it like? Huh? When? On the surface. I never saw the surface. I was born in the Denver cave half a mile down. Oh, that was a long time ago, Clark. Yeah. But you remember, don't you? You and Kovacs are the only ones on the ship who remember the surface. It was war then, too. Kovacs was in the army, the infantry. <laughs> the queen of battles. Well, the queen's dead now. What was it like? You mean in the surface wars? Yeah. Well, they... They had chaplains and... Chaplains? <laughs> I guess you never heard of that. Now we have psycho officers. Yeah, I don't talk about religion much these days. It must have been something on the surface. I dream about that. I, I don't know what it was really like, but I dream about it. Then somebody takes me and shoves me down on the bottom of a hot closet. They shove a big hand over my mouth and I can't breathe. I wake up and I want to bust out of here with my fingernails. I just... What's the matter, Clark? Nothing, Dr. Carpenter. Nothing? No, sir. We were just passing the time, Carpenter. When's the last time you had an emotional reaction test, Watson? I don't know. I, I forgot. Just remember your seniority doesn't exempt you from psychiatric review. This isn't some slipshod surface vessel with organized superstition aboard. The old chaplains weren't so bad. Not scientific. You know, I can remember when psychiatry and mental hygiene were the hope of mankind. Now look at it. That goes in my report, Watson. Yeah? So make sure you spell my name right. Now hear this. Now hear this. Attention all hands. Igneous rock detected. Fresh lava flow. Stand by to go to quarters. You're lucky, Watson. That is all. I'll finish with you later. I've got to check combat detachment. Sure, sure. Go play with your ink blots. I'm busy. Uh, now, go on. Get out of the way. Get down to the combat detachment. They'll be happy to see you. Clark, check those dampers. I'll take three cuts. Now stand pat. Jake to the pat hand. Combat detachment, huh? What kind of a chicken guy are you? <laughs> Anytime you want to start anything, you're lying, yellow chicken. All right, chicken. all right, don't flip your wig. All right, I don't want no trouble. 
That rubber-soled rat carpenter. He's worked us all over. Yeah, all except Norman. Hey, Norman. Norman, how come you ain't been psychoed? I don't need it. I'm stable. I bet you any money he's a stooly for carpenter. I've seen his 201 personnel file. It's blank. I heard a guy say he was born in a lab. What do you mean? You ever seen him eat? Oh, you're crazy. The science brass has been working on something like that. You're crazy. You know how many men they fell short in the last draft? 900,000. So what? Now, suppose you run out of real men for soldiers. Suppose you figure how to make them. Artificial. If they ever do, they ain't going to talk about it. Until it's combat tested. Yeah, I never thought of that. Hey, Newman. What do you got inside of you? Gears? I'm not supposed to talk about myself. Yeah? Well, suppose I make you talk. Hey, sit down, Chef. Sit down, Let go of me or I'll lay you out, too. Hey, keep your hands off. Shut up. Hey, Chef, you want to come in? These men? Well, how's everybody feeling? You, Coke? Uh, all right. I'm all right, sir. Uh-huh. Chin? Back. Chin? I'm all right, sir. Norman? I'm all right, sir. Of course. Very well, carry on. Commander Sanderson, I have my report. Later, Carpenter. It's rather important, sir. Serious personnel trouble is indicated below. It always is. Give your report to Culver. I'm busy. But, uh, sir... Come back. Give me a T.O. reading every ten seconds. Aye, sir. Being as steady as before. Uh, Mr. Culver. Later. If you will initial the psycho report. All right, all right. Hurry up. This is no time for non-combat chicken. National reading. Sudden fault. Igneous activity ahead. That means the enemy. Mr. Culver. Aye, sir. Elevate the cutters 25 degrees. We're going up and come on the enemy from above. Aye, sir. Navigation, Watson. Elevate 25 degrees. 25 elevation. Aye, sir. Seekers ahead on sonar. Sounds like three. All right. Sound general quarters. Aye, sir. General quarters. I have all this thinking luck. Aces I got. Get into your armor, you double lot. Yeah. Give me a hand, Shin. Doc's in power. My helmet's stuck. It's too tight. His helmet's too tight. Ah, uh, you eat too much. Well, at least I eat. Not like Norman. Yeah. Look at him. Full armor and he's still smoking. I bet he lives on nicotine. Hey, Newman. Yes? You live on nicotine? Tobacco is necessary to me. <laughs> <laughs> Say that, Arope. What did I tell you? All right, shut up and test your helmet radio. Snap it down. Okay. Now I'll get mine. Can you hear me? Is my intercom okay? Okay. Take the power up. Newman, check your intercom. I can hear you. Attention. Attention, combat detachment, move out. Where are those chow runners with battle breakfast? Breakfast, huh? I can remember when I had meat in the chow. When I had cooks instead of food chemists, first class. Quit griping, Coke. At least we eat. Yeah, we eat. How about ham? You want any breakfast, Thomas? No. I don't need breakfast. I can wait without it. What's the matter? You got the shakes? No, no, I'm all right. Half speed. Half speed, I... Attention, all hands. Enemy digger sighted. What? Well, huh? Prepare for action at close quarters. Enemy digger sighted. You hear that? Watch Prepare it. Prepare for action at close, close quarters. quarters. Full speed forward. No, I won't. What? Come on, full speed forward. No, no. Not another inch. Stop this ship. Get away from there. No, I gotta stop this ship. I won't be killed. I won't. I won't be killed! Get away from the controls, Clark! You're hurt? All right, take it easy now. What? I've got a gun. Stop the ship. Stop it before I shoot you. Now take it easy, boy. I won't be killed. I won't let him. I'll give you three watches that I shoot. I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to stop the ship. One, two, ah, ah. <laughs> Oh, 
You could have wounded him, Carpenter. That would have been enough. My judgment was the clock was more than a marginal risk. I acted accordingly. Sure, sure. I'll get a detail to clean up after you. Well, Doctor, the commander says you rate a citation. If you had read my report, Mr. Culver, you'd understand. Carpenter. I said... Don't let the crew hear of this. Wouldn't do for them to know an officer was emotionally unstable. You won't keep it quiet, sir. There was a detail to remove the body. What's that? Can we dig her within 100 feet coming in fast? Hold the cover. Don't reverse engines. Turn on the drill. The tread's stationary. Aye, sir. Full speed drill. Threads cut out. Blow up a cloud of dust to blind their optical technician in the infrared. Stand by, gunnery. Stand by, gunnery. Right, sir. Breaking through any second. There it is. Culture of H. Navigation. Cut out drill. Cut out drill. Fire when ready. Fire. Contact signal. Contact signal received. Cease fire, Mr. Culver. Contact signal. Cease fire. Enemy battery silent, sir. Give the go-ahead to the combat men. They can move in. Who tripped that alarm? Cut it off. Navigation to bridge. Bridge, aye. What's wrong down there? Why the emergency? The atomic pile's kicking up. We can't get into hand damp. She may blow any minute. I'll take over, Mr. Culver. Prepare to abandon ship. But the enemy diggers, sir. The atomic pile about to blow. We'll have to advance, destroy the enemy, and take refuge in their ship. There's nothing else we can do. Look alive. Aye, sir. Attention, Attention, all hands. All hands. Prepare, Prepare to abandon, to ship. abandon ship. Prepare, Prepare to, to abandon, abandon ship. ship. Kovacs, have the ship's records packed and ready to go. Aye, sir. Commander? Watson, what are you doing up here? There'd be a lot more chance of getting out if the ship's engines were reversed. She crawled back down the tunnel before she blew. There's no way to set up remote control. I know. I thought I could stay and run her. But the pile's going to blow. I know. All right, Lieutenant. Permission granted. You may stay with the ship. Thank you, sir. You may go, Watson. Aye, sir. We can't let him do that, Commander. You can't ask any man to do that. This is no time for sentiment, Mr. Culver. Doctor, you're a louse. That's an unstable statement, Culver. It's obvious that Watson isn't worth much anyway. He might as well die. I've heard enough, Doctor. You've had this coming a long time. Get away from me, Culver! Pearson, get him! Let go of me, Culver! Yes, sir! All right, Kovacs. Release him. Hey, sir. Mr. Culver, I need you now, but if we come through this, I'll be forced to prepare charges. Kovacs, help Dr. Carpenter up. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Culver, give the order to abandon ship. Speed in reverse? Aye, Mr. Watson. How long have we got before the pile blows? I don't know. Kovacs, why did you stay here? You could have abandoned ship with the others. I, uh, I've been saving a cigar. Hmm? I got two. Hmm. Would uh, you like one? Oh, thanks. Oh, that's good. didn't answer my question, Kovacs. Why did you stay? <laughs> How about you, sir? Me? I was in the last class out of Annapolis before it went underground and merged into the Geo Warfare Academy. I guess I just hang on to illusions. Dead traditions of service. <laughs> I suppose I did it because I thought it was the right thing to do. Yeah, I guess that's it when you get down to it. Kovacs, you saved a cigar against the rules. I, I've got something, too, here. I stole it out of a hotel room in Frisco in the old days. A Bible? Yeah. Psycho officers don't allow them on board. Carpenter would have had me in the cells if he'd known about it. There goes the Geiger alarm. Blow any minute now. 
Kovacs, do you remember this? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. Can we get this enemy ship underway? Give me the damage report. Aye, sir. The port tread knocked out. Armor breached aft in the midships. Gun batteries inoperable. Mm. Lieutenant Adamson estimates we can make limited headway in two days. Very well. Sir, is it necessary for me to have this guard tagging after me? You're under arrest, Culver. Excuse me, Commander, sir. Oh, go ahead, Coke. There, were, there was a message or something under the guy with a sword when I broke in. I, I kept it as... All sort of a souvenir. Oh, give it to me. I didn't mean anything wrong, sir. Hand it over. Uh, Culver, you read the enemy language. I'm afraid I'm under arrest as a prisoner. I, uh... That'll do. Go ahead, read it. From uh, Supreme Headquarters. There's a code designate. To all field commanders. Subject. Secret weapon. Um, X-39. Failure of. One. Research Project X-9 free... No. Released on South America front last night. X-9, a semi-living chemical process attacking all forms of protoplasm was found to be uncontrollable. Is spreading through our own armies all over the world. Two. You are instructed to... Well... That's all, sir. Quiet! Gentlemen, there is only one way to interpret this news. Carpenter, you will inform all hands that the destruction of the enemy is worldwide. The war is over. Hey, gentlemen, why don't you laugh, huh? Why don't you shout the war's broken? I don't need to shout. Hey, Mr. Carpenter. You will instruct to serve double rations at the celebration. No, sir. I strongly advise against it. The psychiatric implications are... What's the matter? I don't know. Something I... It's inside me. I've got to get out. Carpenter! Coke, Newman, go after him. Come on. No. Thank you. That can't happen to a man. Not that. It's Carpenter. You can see that. But that can't happen to a man. He's dissolved. What's going on here? You don't understand, Commander. You didn't listen to that enemy message. A semi-living chemical process attacking all forms of protoplasm. All forms. Carpenter... And you and me, you understand why the enemy killed themselves. They knew. The war's over, all right. There's got to be something to do. 
Talbot, Don General Quarters. It's too late for that, Commander. The war's over. They invented the perfect weapon. The human race is dissolved. That's funny. Dissolved like Carpenter. <laughs> Yes. They're all dead. Aren't they? Yes. Commander Sanderson was the last. Except me. I suppose so. How about you? Tell me. It will not affect me. I am not made of protoplasm. I am an inorganic synthesis. You can't die, then. No. I am atomic powered. My breakdown point is calculated in thousands of years. I cannot destroy myself. I was conditioned against it. It's beginning. You'll be all alone, Newman. I know. Buried alive in, in a rock for thousands of years. I'm sorry for you, Newman. I'm sorry. You'll be all alone. Now, it's very... Why can't I die? Why didn't they make me so I can die like the others? I can't even kill myself. Why can't I die? Why can't I die? You have just heard X-1 presented by the National Broadcasting Company in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine. Your announcer, Fred Collins. X-1 was directed by Daniel Sutter and is an NBC Radio Network production. (laughs) 